Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance and today I'm going to introduce you to the latest addition to our boosted turbocharger range and that's turbo manifolds for the ever popular LS series engines. <laughs> So we've got a couple of different options here which basically will lend themselves to almost any build that you can imagine. Um, we have a twin turbo kit and then we have a single turbo kit. Now, when I say kit, these are builder kits. They're not specifically designed to suit your specific car with all of your different combinations and your turbo and the way that you want to have it and all that sort of thing. What it does do is it provides you with a base to be able to build the rest of that kit and then make it specifically suited to your application. So we give you the hard bits. So we give you the manifolds, this log manifold. You can see here on the twin turbo setup that we've got two forward facing manifolds. They're a log style. There's plenty of clearance around your plugs. So you've got no issues with melting plug boots and things like that. It's a two and a half inch V-band on the front, so you can adapt that to an up pipe or a twist mount or wherever it is that you want to send it. These tube, these tube or these, these log manifolds can also be flipped around to face rearward. They can also be flipped around so that they're a high mount and then forward and back either way. So you've got plenty of options with these. It's not just in this forward low mount position. It can be forward high, forward rear. Uh, low, high, and uh, whichever position you want to put it. So that's the twin setup. Um, you can run these on any LS motor uh, that basically is all the way from you know a small 4.8 litre right the way through to uh, say a 7 litre or a stroker or whatever it is that you want. Um, your up pipes will let you mount whatever turbos you like uh, off there. That's completely up to you. That's for your fabricator to sort out. Um, and then you've got all of that flexibility. The other option that we've got, as you can see here, we'll mount it on the, mount it on the motor in a minute, is a single turbo kit. Now, this is designed to mount on the passenger side of an Australian vehicle or the driver's side of an American vehicle if they find their way to America. Um, again, it's a builder kit. We have designed that log so that it will fit in uh, a VE or VF Commodore. Uh, the downturn uh, is angled in a way that you'll be able to join the crossover pipe up uh, and then run it to our Australian driver's side uh, on a VE. They also work in uh, HQ, WB, early Holdens, uh, and there's plenty of other applications where that may work. But again, we have to stress that these are a builder kit, so it'll get you that starting point. You've got the three inch V-band on the front of the single, that'll let you put your twist mount or your up pipe um, for your turbocharger, which we'll do in a V-band and a T4, uh, or you can fabricate your own to suit whatever turbocharger it is that you'd like to put there and however you want to run it. Okay guys, so as I've pointed out, we have two different versions of the turbo manifolds for the LS motor. We've got the twins, which we just had on the motor, and now we've just swapped this display engine over to running our single setup. As you can see on this side, we've designed the kit to match up to a factory LS3 or LSA uh, driver's side or Australian driver's side factory exhaust manifold. Uh, we have this coming as well in our range, a replica of this because these are starting to get a little bit harder to find. Um, the LSA version was a larger diameter, so a higher flow. Uh, we've based ours off that uh, as a log manifold with this same style flange that'll end up in the same position. So that'll be here in a couple of months. What you'll find is because we've got this on the engine cradle today, we can't actually connect this crossover, 
but it is designed to basically bolt straight on and there's a slip joint at the rear which I'll show you once we turn the engine around and give you a better, uh, a better view. The reason why we stuck with the factory header is because we knew availability was good but we also knew that again plug clearance was good um, so you're not going to worry about burning burning spark plug boots which is very common in aftermarket uh, turbo manifolds if they haven't been made with you know some some thought so we've gone with that um, and again it also can cut down the cost as well because if you have an engine say you've got a VE or a VF Commodore you don't need to replace this part of your of your manifold you've already got it it's ready to go and this crossover will bolt straight up obviously it depends on what car it's in vehicle as I mentioned they do work in uh, VEVF Commodores and they also work in uh, HQWB uh, engine bays um, earlier Commodores so uh, VT to VZ uh, it's not perfect you may need to modify the may need to modify this side and the crossover uh, and also the downpipe on the, the single-sided uh, or the passenger-sided turbo manifold. Um, but let's turn this motor and I'll show you a few more points about the, sing the single turbo setup uh, and some of the benefits that you've got there. Okay, so as you can see, we've just turned this motor a little bit for you um, to show off the single turbo manifold uh, that we've done for the boosted range. Um, now, the core manifold, the, the log manifold that we've designed is this component here. So the runners off the head, the flange, this downpipe. And then at the front, you've got a three inch V-band uh, that can connect up to, which you'll see here is a twist mount T4 adapter. So that's basically gonna position that 78, 75 turbo right where the factory airbox was on a VE or VF Commodore. It's gonna have it right there, perfect, ready to go. We also have this straight up pipe I guess you would say with a T4 flange so that'll bolt on the front so again if it's a different you know a different vehicle or whatever works for you you can still have that rotated up down left or right wherever you need to have it that's large enough so that if you wish to run a wastegate off there you can weld that onto there as well the rest of the kit the rear has the v-band again so three inch v-band on the rear which is where this crossover pipe will start so that crossover pipe marries up to the driver's side, which has a slip joint in the centre. I'll just rotate that so you can see. That slip joint is there to allow for a couple of different variations in perhaps cylinder head or um, expansion and contraction that you've got there, but then you just basically weld that up once it's set into place. As we mentioned, and I've got to keep reiterating, this is not off the shelf, everything you need straight into your specific car. So it is a builder kit. You will have to do some fabrication to make it work. Um, another common, common option is from the driver's side, you may mount the wastegate off this section, off the crossover here to keep it out of the way, or you may mount it down here. Completely depends on what your application will allow. So you'll have to use a little bit of thought uh, and a little bit of clarity for that. So that system is all on there. So as you can see, uh, once again, with our manifolds, we've made sure that we've got plenty of clearance for plugs. Um, so you're not burning boots. We've just got some of our leads and our heat boots here um, to display what we've got. We've got it fixed on using our titanium studs that are now available from Aeroflow Performance. Um, all the way through, you've got plenty of access to get your get your leads and your plugs in and out with the manifold in place. You don't have to pull it off just to change plugs or anything like that. Of course, if you're still running your coils on the top here on the rocker cover, you can just run your leads straight up there. Clearance is perfectly fine, no problems whatsoever. On the front of the single turbo manifold, as I mentioned, we've got that three inch uh, V-band. Now, again, we've got the twist mount on here T4. We'll also be doing these with a V-band. Uh, as well. We won't be doing them with a T6 because we find that V-band's probably a bit more the way that people should be looking because it gives you a little bit more clearance. The rear housing is lighter on the V-band turbo uh, and we feel that it will give you more flexibility with positioning. So uh, if you want to do a T6, of course you can make your own or you can buy the T4, chop that off. We do sell the flange uh, for a T6 and you can weld that straight on. Completely up to you. As you can see guys, we've just grabbed that twist mount T4 adapter off the front of the single turbo manifold and we've just refitted the straight T4 up pipe. Um, and we've put the 7875 back on there so it's still 
nice and nice and you know forward. You've got that positioning. It's still close to the motor, um, but there's still plenty of room to be able to get a dump pipe out the top here as well. So if you've got a narrower engine bay, you can also use that option. And as we mentioned, this can be rotated, you know, as, as much as you can sort of imagine here, depending on what clearance you've got in your vehicle, in your engine bay. Even if it's in the back of a boat, you can put it wherever you like. Um, so plenty of different options for this single turbo manifold. All right guys, so now you've seen those manifolds mounted on an LS engine. We've just laid them out on the table here, so we'll be able to show you uh, a few of the points in finer detail, uh, and I'll just go over a couple of the maybe more technical points or some specifications of the, the turbo manifold, so you all know exactly what you're getting. Um, as we mentioned, twin or single option. The flanges for the uh, for the manifolds have been designed so that they can be mounted in basically any configuration. So on these flanges, which are a CNC cut 8mm uh, flange on the manifolds and a 10mm flange on the adapters for the T4 uh, adapters, you can see these slots here uh, are basically full length, they're elongated, whereas a factory manifold header might just have the single hole in there, which means that you can only fit it one way. Thanks to these slots, because you've got those two alternate bolts on the cylinder head of an LS, you can mount this manifold forward and low. You can mount it rearward and high, or on the opposite side, of course, you can mount it rearward and low, or forward and high. So you've got plenty of options with how you want to mount these, the twin turbo manifolds. The single, the single manifold, the log, does have the same flange, so technically you can turn it around. It may not really work the way that you want it to if it's upside down, but it's completely up to you how you work it. Uh, again, they are a builder's kit, so you can do whatever you like with it. Um, the priority flow is a little bit more towards this outlet end, um, so you really is designed to be mounted Australian passenger side facing forward, but you've got the option there. All the manifolds are made from three millimeter steam pipe. Uh, so nice and solid. Uh, you know, it's not cheap, thin stainless material that a lot of the, you know, a lot of the more budget focused uh, manifolds were, were in the past. So this is nice and solid, it's heavy duty. Uh, we've got the Aeroflow three inch uh, forward facing V-band on the front. So that's got a receiver groove in it. Um, so it'll match up with our V-bands. Uh, that will lock them in place so they're nice and stable. The twin turbos have a two and a half inch uh, flange on there because generally you're not jamming the entire engine's worth of exhaust through one side, you've got both, so two and a half we feel is fine. You can obviously cut and weld and do whatever it is that you need to do because there's plenty of options there. You'll also notice, I touched on it briefly earlier, that there is no provision for the wastegate uh, on the single or the twin setups. We have up pipes with a wastegate, uh, you know, that you use with a wastegate, uh, depending on where you want it, uh, that are coming for the twins. We have these up pipes and, uh, and twist mounts for the single side. Now, where you mount your wastegate is completely up to you. Some people mount it on the back of a turbine housing. Uh, some people may use the crossover. It's quite common, they might weld a pipe down here, so it's coming from the factory manifold down before it crosses over into the other side. So we might add a little pipe on the end here, weld the flange for the wastegate, and then you might have the wastegate off there. So coming straight off here, and then venting to atmosphere or plumbing back in, wherever it is that you like. But just we just want everyone to know that these kits are designed so that you can make it the way you want it. Um, you know, it's they're nice and affordable, they're a quality product, They've been designed here in Australia. We've fitted them to vehicles. We've tested them out. We've already got twin turbo, uh, the twin turbo manifolds on cars already. So there's plenty of um, there's plenty of you know R and D that's gone into these things. Uh, and luckily, we've come up with a great product that I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy. So now you know a little bit more about the new LS turbo manifolds. You can see them at your local distributor, quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.